Marine protected areas um, that gain importance after 1970s and it have been indispensable and obligatory today. Um, and now more than 60 protected uh, protection areas have been determined by the Black Sea coastal countries. It contributes to put into practice environmental protection, public awareness, scientific research for reference area, tourism, protecting fish prawns, and, um, and so on and so on. I would like to emphasize the importance of international collaboration uh, and cooperation in this field. Uh, in the context, uh, context of marine protected areas, a number of uh, uh, wetlands of international importance can be mentioned. Among them are 19 uh, Ukrainian wetlands, including four large marine bays, Yakolitska, Tendrivska, Jarlhajska, Kotkininska. Created under the umbrella of Ramsar Convention, this territory, first of all, are crucial for biodiversity and provide case services for humankind. Uh, for aim to exchange information and uniting efforts uh, to protect nature, um, Ramsar Regional Initiative uh, Black Sea Wet uh, was established in 2007 uh, in, uh, at a conference in Odessa. Uh, the, uh, this initiative unites responsible persons uh, for conservation of wetlands, uh, represent, representatives of state authorities, scientists, and uh, other stakeholders um, from Bulgaria, Georgia, Moldova, Romania, and Ukraine, and it enhances uh, our ability to achieve our nature protection goals. Um, also, I won't mention agreement on the conservation of African Eurasian water uh, uh, migratory species. Work under this agreement contributes to sustainable use uh, of high-tech bird species. Over the last few years, uh, we have come to an idea of creating a network of territories uh, that are important for migratory uh, water bird species. Among them, we will be established some marine protected areas. Uh, yeah, um, in the end, um, success of nature conservation depends uh, of each country. And I won't show you one example of our um, protected areas, and you will show Although he looks a little strange with his mis-sized claws. 
Mm -hmm. One of the strangest creatures often found living amongst the four is the grandfather of invertebrates, as in a seer or sea squirts. In the past, these creatures were so frequently found that you could call their relationship symbiotic. There are two from the four fields in the Black Sea, a large rock located at depths of up to 60 meters in the open part of the northwestern shelf, called the Fillafor Field of Seven North, named in honor of the Fillafor <coughs> Gardeners, and also the small Fillafor Field, formed at the shallow depths of 10 to 15 meters in the cozy Kankinitsky Bay. How did these fields look in the past, and what's their present state? Due to its value in the connection of iodine and agar, the third floor of Field of Zelenov has undergone 70 years of active extraction at a rate of 15 to 20,000 tons per year in the 1930s. The third floor covered 50 to 70 percent of the seafloor. There was so much in it that a special plant was built in the desert to process it. After this, the substance was sent to the Nipo by Wap. In 1996, Philophore extraction at Zelenov's field stopped because the ecosystem had been almost completely destroyed through overexhaustion. It wasn't only industrial scale extraction that contributed to the destruction of this valuable ecosystem. Organic materials such as poorly treated wastewater and byproducts of agriculture flow into the sea from the rivers Danube, Dnipro, and others to create the conditions for intensive development of phytoplankton, which blocks sunlight from reaching the seafloor and deoxygenates the water. With improvements to wastewater treatment and a ban on fillafore extraction, the habitat has begun to slowly regenerate. The last time the small fillafore field was studied in 2012, the density of fillafore was 6 kilograms per square meter. Here, there was rich biodiversity, which confirms that the regeneration of the small fillafore field is underway. The current situation is unknown, as the area is no longer accessible from Ukraine. The fillafore field of Zernov is another story in 2016 and 17 as part of the EU UNDP funded project improving environmental monitoring of the Black Sea. A number of underwater field surveys were conducted. They showed that at present, fillafore cover is restored only to 5 to 10 percent coverage in comparison to the 15 to 70 percent when they were first discovered. The fillafore is often covered by filamentous algae, which indicates a high concentration of waste organic matter. Gas extraction projects in the area further hinder restoration of the field. Fillafore compensates for the lack of sunlight by moving to shallower depths. The original fillafore field of Zernov occupied the depths of 30 to 60 meters. Now it has been partially regenerated at the depths of 30 to 40 meters, and its upper reaches are as shallow as 20 meters below the surface. What will be the future of the fields? These corals of the Black Sea. Further tender restoration or disappearance into the darkness, but depends on us. Okay. Uh, thank, you. thank you very much.